Hi, this is Art Fireman with Projector Reviews TV. What we're going to do today is take a look at the process for updating Epson's projectors with the latest firmware. This is for the Pro Cinema's 4030 and 6030 UB and the Home Cinema 5030 UB and 5030 UVE. Two things, Epson provides a uh, link uh, to this particular page here and they also supply documentation. So the first thing we would want to do is Click on download right here and that's going to put a, a zipped up file on your hard drive of your computer. We also, as I just pointed out, have an instruction page that Epson provides. You're just looking at part of it here, but that's what I'm using for the step by step. Now let's take a look at the folder itself. Oops, wrong place. I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, and what you can see here are two files. The original one, which is the compressed file when you double click on that it creates a secondary zip file which is this one right here uh, which is the one uh, that ultimately we're going to be installing we plug one end of the usb mini into the service port the other end of the usb has been plugged into our mac now uh, what we do now is notice that i've got the computer unplugged that's the way we want it it's time to plug in the computer but while doing so we need to hold down the power button so i'm holding down the power button plugging in the computer and that gives us a different set of lights than usual now it tells us when the power and status lights turn solid blue and the lamp and temperature lights turn orange release the power button well i've got that over here on this particular side next thing i'm going to do is go back to our finder and it's telling me that we should now see the Epson as another device on the system. And sure enough, here it is right here. I'm going to open up a separate window here, just for simplicity. And on this window, we're going to select the Epson PJ. And what we seem to have here is a blank folder. So the next step will be to copy the file that they instruct you to copy, which is the one that ends in .bin not the one that has something after that and just drag this down into the Epson and it is installed at this point the firmware is now on the projector and the next step according to the instructions is to go back and eject the projector from my computer and according to the documentation, that should start the backup, uh, the installation process. At this point, we wait while it does things. The projector is powering up now. In fact, it's powered up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the main menu button. I have no source plugged into that. And there's our uh, main menus. All I have to do is scroll down to info. And there we go. Last item is version number, and now it says V111 or 111. The original version was V110. The next step will be to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'll be shooting some video and stills to show you folks the improvements that the new firmware makes by adding detail enhancement. Thank you.